In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what aperture is and how it affects your photography. Now in camera lenses, there are several small blades that form a circular shape. These blades are the aperture. And these blades can uh, open or close. And when uh, they open, they uh, let more light into your camera sensor. And when they close, they let less light into your camera sensor. Now aperture is measured by f-stop. Now the verbiage with f-stop can get a little bit confusing because a lower number is a wider aperture and a higher number is a smaller aperture. So the lower the number, the uh, more light will be letting into the camera and the higher the number, the less light the aperture will allow to reach your camera's sensor. Now aperture is used to create depth of field within images. Uh, that blurry effect you see in some images, uh, that is caused by aperture. And this effect, this blurriness, is called bokeh. And adjusting your aperture can create more of that or less of that within your image. So using an open aperture or a low f-stop will create a lot of bokeh in an image. And this can help separate your subject from the background. But using a high f-stop or a closed aperture, this will add a more depth of field to the image, making the image appear sharp from the front to the back. Now not all lenses have the same aperture capabilities. Some of the more expensive lenses have a fixed aperture at a lower f-stop, um, and some of the less expensive lenses have a variable aperture starting at kind of a higher f-stop. Now a fixed aperture means the aperture will not change as you zoom your lens in and zoom your lens out. What I'm shooting with today is a 70-200 to Tamron f2.8, and uh, it's a fixed aperture of 2.8 which means that at uh, 70 millimeters, it'll be 2.8. And when I zoom into 200 millimeters, I can also shoot at uh, f2.8. And now a variable aperture lens means that the lowest possible aperture will change as the lens is zoomed in. Now the lens that I'm recording with right now is a 10 to 24, uh, f3.5 to 4.5. That means that when the lens is zoomed all the way out at 10 millimeters, the lowest aperture that I can achieve on the lens would be a 3.5, while when the lens is all the way zoomed in at 24 millimeters, the lowest aperture will be an f4.5. And then while shooting at a higher aperture will give you more depth of field, um, you try to want to avoid to shoot anything past f16, because if you shoot uh, past f16, diffraction could happen, causing you to lose image quality. Now to help explain aperture, I'm going to take some pictures. Now I have this white flower as my composition, and you can see the background is uh, pretty empty, like everything above the flower. Um, that's because I'm going to shoot at different apertures and kind of show you the difference. And I am focusing on this main flower right here um, for each shot. So as you can see, when I change the aperture, the image is going to change. Now this definitely isn't the most interesting image, but uh, it displays aperture very well. So the first image I'm going to do, focusing on the flower, is uh, I'm going to shoot at f2.8, and I'm at ISO 200, and I'm at 1 640th of a second. Now notice how in this image, the background is very blurred out, and you can't really make out any of the details. It's just kind of a dark black-green uh, mix of bokeh in the background. And now I'm going to switch the aperture up to 5.6. I'm going to balance out the exposure as well. So 5, 6, 1 200th of a second. And now this one, you can really see that some of the leaves are coming in uh, to focus in the background. And it's starting to distract from the image. And there's a lot less bokeh in this image. So now I'm going to go all the way to f11. So now I'm shooting at f11, 1 50th of a second. And you can see in this F11 shot that the background's really starting to become visible. Kind of those leaves in the bottom right corner, you can really make out the detail in them, and they're starting to be really distracting. Now let's compare all three images side by side. As you can see, F2.8 has a lot of bokeh and a lot of blur, and then when you get up to F11, that's when you can start to see a lot more detail in the image from the front to the back. So what's the right aperture to use? Well, it just depends on whatever you're shooting. 
Um, if you're shooting portraits or wildlife, you'd want to use an open aperture and a low f-stop. That way you can uh, create a lot of bokeh and separate the subject from the background, making it stand out more. While if you're shooting uh, landscape photography, you'd want to use a uh, higher f-stop of about f8 to f11, um, just to get more detail in the image and get more depth of field from the front to the back. Now aperture is very important when it comes to photography and mastering it will really help improve your images. Well I hope you learned some uh, good tips in this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.